The build direction functionality show colored patches based on defined critical angles. And in Creo 8 was expanded to show also overhang edges and vertices that will require support structures. You can control the width of the curve you will use to visualize them. You can also choose to create bounding curves around the patches based on the critical angle. Another improvement is the use of multiple objectives in the optimization. You can assign different weights to each objective. Once the build direction is defined in part mode, it is used by default when we insert a component in the tray assembly. In this example, we leverage other enhancements in Creo 8, the capability to insert multiple instances of the same object in one step. We can also fix the rotation because we want to preserve the optimized build direction and do a nesting operation to pack the parts together in the tray. To finalize, just for the sake of show a complete process, let's create three type supports, selecting a profile we previously defined and then clicking on the generate support command to display them on the tray assembly.